Picked up by McDonald of Minnesota. Fast break to Carter, and he lays it up. And I'm excited to have two of my favorite golfers. So let's start this off. Last five years, give us an update what you have been doing in the last five years. Uh, just last five years, I've been um, coaching high school basketball in the Minneapolis area. Um, been working in the, you know, for Hennepin County Corrections. So been in that field for about the last seven years. Um, but mostly just following behind my son and trying to help him, you know, create his, uh, his path for his career. Randy? It, yeah, it's pretty much the same, man. Uh, the last five years, um, that's what I've been doing, coaching high school basketball. Um, I'm, an, uh, I'm an administrator in uh, an alternative school. Myself and Ariel, uh, we both finished our master's degrees. Uh, so we both got our master's um, in educational leadership and raising my boys as well. And, you know, and trying to help, to help them achieve the highest heights and, and the goals that they want to be able to achieve. Let's talk about, let's talk about how, how you got to be a gopher. I think that's a really unique story. Like I said, Ariel's from North Carolina. Uh, Randy's right up the road from me in Memphis. Let's talk about the recruit, recruitment process. And what was that one thing that, that put you over the top? I, I think, honestly, the thing that sold me the most was just the, the unity. What I saw, and, and the one thing that I think uh, Coach Haskins did such a fantastic job at, the guys believed in each other. They were friends. They were friends. Uh, they, they were warriors on the court. They were friends off the court. Coming up here on my visit and seeing those guys uh, and how they felt about each other truly, that's what sold it for me. Um, you know, I have to say that uh, my experience, what Randy spoke about, about uh, players, the players seemed to be very together. They had a, a really good family atmosphere. And it was a, it was a feeling of it's us against them. And so I, I like that, uh, being that Minnesota didn't have a, a big, big name, but uh, still had a, a good reputation. I just felt like with that kind of attitude and with that kind of atmosphere and chemistry that, you know, we could achieve some good things here. A um, uh, big factor for me was I wanted to play for an African-American coach. Um, all growing up, I had played for Caucasian coaches and um, in developing the relationship that I had with Coach McKinney, with Coach McKinney, he just, you know, made it, you know, um, very clear that, you know, Clem was going to be uh, the kind of coach that I needed as a young man. So though that was important to me and uh, it ultimately, uh, you know, was um, the deciding factor in me signing with the Gophers. Let's jump afterwards. Let's talk about European and plan overseas. Give us a quick overview of your time over in Europe. I would say the most memorable experience in Europe, obviously, um, we had won the, uh, the European Championship, and it was in Paris, and so it was a, a very celebratory moment. Um, I think we all understand um, throughout the last, let's say, 15, 20 years, kind of, you know, the Israeli-Palestinian conflict, and so during that time period, um, when we won the championship, it was something good that happened for the nation, and uh you know, the Israelis all collectively got behind us and really celebrated the moment. And so that was a, a very memorable experience because um, it created so much joy uh, for the for, for many of the natives. And, uh, you know, it helped, you know, uh, launch my career a little bit more. You know, I always say it's nice that uh, it would have been nice to play in the NBA, but uh, I haven't experienced that many NBA players, you know, even some of the greats, don't even have you know uh i've met prime ministers i've met official people of official countries uh i met pope john paul before he passed so there's just some experiences that i can't have a conversation with anybody about but with guys like yourself yeah i think um kind of piggybacking on what ariel said for me it was just the it was the experience of of being there um ariel uh being over in greece i think at the time Call me like, man, what you doing on weekend? You're free? Let's shoot over to Greece. I go hang out in Athens, you know, with, with Ariel. Ariel comes and hangs out in uh in Milan with me. And and the reality that that um that a kid from North Memphis, you know, okay. is doing things that I never ever thought in a million years that I'd be able to do. Uh having my kids see 
a part of that, you know, see, see Italy and see Argentina, the kids, like my kids have passports that, that, you know, that are full of stamps right now. That, that's pretty special, man. You know, for, for teenage kids and, and my kid, that's uh my kid is 25. So that, I think that was it for me. Yeah. You know, one of the, I think one of the weirdest points for me is that you be talking to people and they go, oh, we're going to this and this. She's like, Oh, you know, when you go over there, you should do this, this, and this. And they just kind of look at you like, <laughs> it's like, oh yeah, I lived there for a couple of years. So one of the things I wanted to talk about, 1994, the score was 56 to 106. Minnesota, Indiana, CBS. What's the top one, two, three things that you remember from that game? Number one, Bobby Knight. Number <laughs> the All-Americans and Calvert Chaney and Damon Bailey and and and, and Greg, uh, what was it, Greg? Greg Grant. Yep. You had Chris Lawson. I mean, they had a bunch of McDonald All-Americans. And uh, I just remember, and CBS, one of our few nationally televised games. So, you know, everybody was really pumped up for that game. And uh, the greatest memory I have from that game is I remember making a three-point shot. And as I fell out of my shot, I kind of backed into Bobby Knight. And so he kind of caught me but threw me to the side. And so as he throws me to the side and I catch myself, as the ball goes in, I run past him and I smack him on the butt. So I, days I go, how ignorant and crazy is that? He would actually put hands on the Bobby Knight. But that was going. That's how much it, you know hype we were for that game. So that's one of my fondest memories being a Gopher for sure. The Indiana game for for you know for pretext. Remember, Indiana had did something similar to us a couple of years you know a couple of years early. So. You, we're gonna we're coming to play. Like I said, I, I didn't I don't think anybody saw us beating Indiana by 50 points, but we we were not, you know, we were not planning on losing that day. The crowd was electric. I remember Bobby Knight just kind of like, I can't, there's nothing I can do. Like I, I love the the, you know, I, when we pull the fight out of you, you just love that. Like we took it, you know, it was like you didn't have anything left. Um, I remember I had a transition uh layup and uh I got fouled and it was an and one and the kid knocked me on the ground and I was trying to get up and Ariel comes and dives on me. You know what I'm saying on the camera, like swan dives. And I'm like, dude, like, like you gonna hurt me worse than <laughs> Indiana. The Indiana players are trying to, but he was so he was so happy, you know, and, and the joy that we shared in that game. So those are the things that I remember about that game is that we were ready for that fight. Give me another one of your greatest gopher moments and then also give me one more williams arena moment in your history probably senior night i would say one of the you know to tie those both together i think our our final senior game randy we went into like triple overtime with against iowa yep that's my moment <laughs> that, that is my exact same moment senior night against iowa that was a crazy crazy game but it was one of those memorable games that you never, never forget. You know, Randy and I share that same memory. Uh, um, I mean, again, I'm, I'm, I'm going right with Rail. Senior night. Senior night was something special. You knew this was the last time you were going to play in Williams Arena. The fans really, really showed um, the love and, and appreciation that they had harbored for us um, for the past four years. We went and, and I think we gave the fans everything they wanted that game. It was a triple overtime. It was a triple overtime win or something like that against Iowa. It was crazy. It's bittersweet because you know this is this is you know this is it. But by the same token, you like man, like I really, really, for and especially for this game, I came in and I left it all out there on the floor and and I'm I'm happy and more importantly the fans appreciated uh, everything that we had been doing and everything that we had, you know, everything that we had tried to give to, to that gopher uniform. That's awesome. You know, senior night, you always want to go out with a Oh man, oh, it, it, it's, it's special. It, it's there was nothing yeah. like it. Um, man, nothing, nothing else like it. Um, I just want to say thank you. I know uh, Rail had to, to leave. I'm going to try to do more of this because uh, I know everybody is just crazy about for basketball and um, I'm just excited to have it. So I always end these with just saying a couple 
and go Gophers and Sky Uma. Hey, thank you so much. I appreciate it. Thank you for having me, Q.